Thanks for being here. Glad you're with us. Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach with another new floor plan. The best-selling Class C motorhome in America. Four wins. Fifteen floor plans to choose from. One for every adventure, every family. This is the 25M, and there are a lot of great features to talk about as we work our way through. We're going to start on the outside. We'll open some storage bays. We'll walk around to the campsite, do the same sort of uh, scenario, open some storage bays, talk about your exterior features, and then we'll walk inside and show you the new floor plan. And, and what's great about this is it comes in on the Ford chassis. This is the Ford E350. comes in at 25 feet if you go with the Chevy chassis, because you can get it on a Chevy as well. You're coming in at 25 feet, 6 inches. And what's nice about this, it's just over 11 foot high with your ACs. So what's nice about a motorhome of this length is you can take it anywhere. You don't necessarily have to hook up to the 8,000 pound hitch out back. You can use this as your daily driver vehicle. I know sometimes when you set up camp, you know, you have to tear down and, and it can be a hassle, but in the event you need to and you want to just throw some bicycles on the back with the bike rack and simply unhook and then go visit, uh, visit your park or go visit a new town or explore. Because of the size of this, you can do it. You can take it to the stores, park it out back. You can go do your grocery shopping. Really a great great motorhome. Talking about the new uh, E-Series chassis from Ford, this is the 350, and you are going to have 350 horsepower, 468 pound-feet of torque if you go with the Ford. With the Chevy, you're going to have 323 horse, 373 pound-feet of torque. Uh, both drive great, offer you a couple of different uh, options on the inside from a dash layout. We're going to go over the Ford, uh, but they did a great job. They needed to update this, and they did. I mean, we're talking dash, steering wheel, uh, some real great features inside. And this is a Class C motorhome. And one of the things people really like about Class C motorhomes is just the way you get in and out. This operates like you would your normal truck or car. You have the doors, you have the airbags. Uh, it, it's more familiar to them instead of driving a Class A motorhome. You have that signature over the cab bunk, which we're gonna show you, which is huge. Wait till you hear the weight capacity of what uh, we have going on here this time. Uh, we do have optional heated mirrors that you can uh, you can get. You have your running boards, you have your full wall slide, which really opens up the space. So as we walk down right here, 4,000 watt generator. Uh, your exhaust for your generator is right here. So just a word of note, when you're getting out of your door and you're setting up camp, just be aware that that's there. If you're running your generator while you drive, which I recommend on a day like today or wherever you go and you have passengers, Keeping your generator on, you can turn on the air conditioning unit in here and keep your coach cool while you're driving down the road. Uh, but it's, you know, keep it cool when you're exploring new towns. But your nice gas generator runs right off your tank there. When your tank does get below a quarter of your gas tank, that will stop running. But you have a nice gas generator here. That comes standard. We have a nice storage bay worked into your wall slide here. Can fit camping chairs and gloves, uh, golf clubs, whatever you want in here. So a lot of great storage up top here. Swings down. You have a lock. It is going to be a gray key. You take your gray key and you go ahead and you can lock that right up. I would recommend making sure that your bays are locked before you leave and hit the road. Uh, you don't want anything to, to fly open, so go ahead and lock your bays. But a lot of great storage base here. Down below we have our propane tank, uh, which is going to run your water furnace or your water heater and your furnace and your gas cooktop inside. Uh, you're going to fill that up right from here. So as you can see, we have a couple of things tucked under the slide here. So my recommendation when you pull into camp is to get your electric hooked up. Uh, if you have something in the storage bay back here, go ahead and get that out. And uh, if you're going to hook up your sewer hose, get everything hooked up. Put your stabilizers down if your coach is equipped. This one is. And then you can go ahead and you get set up and you have everything out of your base. You have 30 amp shore power here. You have your cable connection right here. You have sewer down here. Uh, there are optional heating pads you can get for this. One of the questions that we do get quite often is, is this a Four Seasons coach? Well, if you are going to take it where it's cold, the heating pads are not designed to really keep things, you know, in sub-zero temperatures from freezing up. If you are going to use this in sub-zero temperatures, um, what you're going to have to do 
anything below 32 degrees is add some extra heating pads, add some uh, extra insulation around the tanks, and you also have to worry about your water lines as well. I mean, you can use it when it's cold. Uh, just make sure that you're taking the proper steps to keep everything running and flowing and keeping anything from freezing and breaking. Exterior shower, which is great after you drain your tank. You can go ahead and use your shower and uh, rinse out the sewer hose before you put it away. Coming back from an adventure and your feet are all muddy, you can go ahead and rinse off. The city water connection you're going to hook up here when you are at camp. You go ahead, plug in, and you can turn on your water, and you will use this for your city water. You will not need your water pump, but if you are running off of uh, your water pump because you're dry camping, we'll show you where to fill there, you are going to want to turn your water pump on. Tank flush here, you do have your gas fill over here on your driver's side, so it's very much like your regular car. You can pull in and you fill up back here. As we move our way to the back, nice steel bumper back here. One of the advantages to having a steel bumper like this is in the event you would happen to back into something, and let's face it, accidents do happen. This is really easy to replace. Some nice bolts, a couple of large bolts, you have a needle steel bumper on and you're not replacing your rear cap. We do have an integrated rear view camera monitor up above, so when you are in reverse or when you're driving down the road, you just hit a button on the radio that camera will pop on, give you a nice clear image of everything that's behind you. If you are towing something, you can go ahead and take a look and make sure that nothing's hopping around. And while we're talking about towing, do have your hitch here, 8,000 pound hitch, 500 pound tongue weight. You do have a seven pin connector. You have a four pin connector. If you'd like to hook up a brake controller, you can most certainly do that. Uh, when you are towing, remember you have to keep your weights in mind. You have to keep your uh, uh, occupants, cargo carrying capacity, how much water you have in the tank, your tongue weight. So there's a couple of uh, a couple of math problems you need to figure out, and we have a complete video on towing on our YouTube channel that really breaks down. You know, okay, so I have my gross combined weight rating, and here's my gross vehicle weight. If I subtract those two, here's what I have to tow. But and so that that's the basic formula. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll show you that stick when we work our way around. But yep, you can indeed tow with this. So. Uh, make the most of it. Enjoy. We do have your fresh water fill back here. We were just talking about fresh water. You're going to unscrew this. It is gravity fed, so you just put your hose in here, and or if you would need to fill it up with buckets, you can do that as well. When you're full, you have this little vent here, so the water will start to uh, come out of there. You know it's full. So this is what you're going to run on when you are dry camping, when you're not hooked to city water. And again, you do have a water pump for that, and we'll show you how that works. You do have your ladder to climb up top here. Uh, and, and when you go up top, it's really strictly for maintenance. You're going to want to do your maintenance up top. And as we take a look up top, you're going to find your, uh, your vent covers, your Siphon 360. It is prepped for solar, so if you'd like to add solar, you can. 100 watts, you can add up to two. There's a solar controller inside, so everything is there. I mean, the strapping, the connectors, you literally just plug and play. And on a day like today, you have solar helping keeping your house battery charged. If you want to add option in an extra uh, house battery, you can most certainly do that. So we move over to this side, we have our awning, which is a really great feature to have. In fact, I'm going to uh, go put that out so we can uh, get some shade here. The control is on the step here, and you just put your awning out. You just press the awning button, and away it goes. You have other buttons inside for your lights. You have an awning light that you can turn on right here. See it going on and off. This makes a great nightlight. Fantastic nightlight for you when you're away uh, at night. You can use that. I would put your awning in when you go away at, uh, go away on adventures or you're in at night. Make sure that uh, that is in, but throws out some really nice shade for you. Just real nice shade. Uh, working your way back. This is pitch adjustable too. I mean, this it, it couldn't be easier to adjust. You just go ahead and you pull down the lever and you can adjust that way if there's any water on it. You can pour that off or if the sun's coming in at a, a funky angle like over here and you're outside, you just pitch it that way and you go ahead and you got that nice shade for you. If you would like, right here, you do have, uh, let me open this up here. All right, there you go. You do have uh, your water heater right over here. And uh, when you want to rise, here's your drain. So a couple of things you're going to need to take care of when you want to rise with this. Uh, we do have a complete winterizing video, which is, oh, isn't it sad to talk about? It's going to be time to winterize soon, at least here, unless you're going somewhere warm. Oh, I don't even like to, to think about that. But it's just, a, it's just part of the experience. But you can get in here to uh, winterize and then to close it. You simply pull that tab, and you just lock it right back in place. 
and there you go. Moving over to storage, lots of great exterior storage options over here. I like that we have a, this size on the, uh, on the campsite here, right under the awning. So if you forgot something in here, you can come out and grab it. You can see you do have a, a part of your water tank there. And these are Rotocast, a nice durable Rotocast. 200 pound weight limit in this storage bay here. You have a drain, so if you have muddy boots or shoes or you throw a bunch of ice in here and you use it for a cooler, you can take this out, really easy to rinse out, hose out. These things are gonna last a lifetime. Each bay has its own light too, which is really convenient because let's face it, when's the last time you pulled into a campsite when you said you were going to? I have, I have yet to do that every time. Well, you know, we'll be there at uh, three o'clock and then you stop on the way to have something to eat and then you, yeah, well, this would be a great little town to explore. And then you see a farmer's market over there, whatever it is. So it's nice when you do pull in light that you do have a light there in the storage bay. Refrigerator, if you ever need to uh, service that, you just undo these little tabs here, you turn them to noon. This pops off, you can get back here and all your parts are there. We do have uh, the event from your furnace here. Really not much you need to do there outside of be aware of that. And while we're talking winterizing, one thing you may want to think of if you are getting ready to winterize your coach, you may want to take, a lot of people put a screen over that, keep little critters from going in there. You don't want any bugs or anything flying in there, not at all. Moving down, another storage bay for you. All kinds of great storage, great for camping chairs. Again, you have the light, nice rotocast material. We do have your two 110 outlets out here, so if you wanna plug into something, by all means. And chassis outfit by Moride, the true flat floor foundation. Uh, it's really it, it, a great way that uh, Moride does this. Uh, we give them all of our chassis and they take, and I mean, you talk about having a square foundation to build your home on. That's what they do for us. Uh, with built laser cut, I mean, built within a very, very strict tolerances, it's gonna give you a smoother ride, a better ride. So just a, a great, great piece of engineering there. In fact, I think they just, uh, they just did a video about what it means for our motorhomes. We'll go ahead and get that posted for you. Do have our entry door and up front again, our mirrors and uh, the side steps to get in for the passenger. Tom, I'll let you go ahead and go. Oh, well, real quick, I do want to show you. Uh, this is where your uh, chassis battery is, uh, right here. No, oh, it is under it. I oh, there you go. You do this, and there you go. And there is your uh, or your house battery. Your house batteries there. Your chassis batteries. If your house batteries here, we left wiring and everything. If you'd like to add a second house battery. You can go ahead and do that. That latch isn't very tight. I'll take care of that when we get back. Uh, you have a step light here. Uh, come on in, Tom. Oh, we will bask. Bask in the coolness of our air conditioning unit. We do have a 13,500 BTU unit come standard. You can option in a 15,000 BTU uh, unit if you'd like, but it's thrown off a lot of nice cold air. But notice all the room in here. It's due in part to that that full wall slide and the way that we have our Murphy bed in the back, we'll show you how all of this operates. Uh, changes up front here, I do wanna talk about our overhead bunk. Very large, maybe you think, oh, we can only fit one person up here. Take a guess. Take a guess at what the weight limit of this is. And, and I could, I, I can't hear you. But if you said 800 pounds, you win. 800 pound capacity right here. And the nice thing about this is if you do have little ones up here, you know, they have a TV, there are cup holders back here. You put your ladder in place, just like this. I know the first time uh, my youngest, many years ago, it's been five years now uh, since I've been here in the overhead. This was a great addition, made her feel right at home. She would have been five years ago, eight, look at that. A nice safety net so you can go ahead and you can lock that right in place and then everybody's feeling comfortable you have a max air fan up top so if you'd like to let in some nice airflow you can you just open this up you turn it down if you'd like some white noise you can do that nice thing about this uh, max air fan is you can because it has a cover you can open it even if it's raining outside and still get some nice airflow some nice ventilation uh, a nice breeze and you just simply turn it off when you are done. And let me move this out of the way because I'm gonna sit in the dashboard here. I'm not gonna sit in the dashboard. I'm gonna sit in the cockpit and show you the dashboard. All right, fan off, you have vents here. If you'd like to take and 
close these vents on the side here, you can do that. Then what it does is it will run it through the duct. So if you really want to just dump all the cold air right here and come in and stand here, take like an air conditioner shower, you can do that. Right here, I do want to go over your control panel. You do have a control panel when you walk in. We were talking about the water pump. You're going to find that here. So if you put out uh, your slides, it is recommended if you are not plugged into shore power, go ahead and start your generator. You do that from here, and the generator again runs off your tank. You hold down the stop button until your light flashes, and you prime it, then you hold down start, and then you can go ahead and you can start your generator. Uh, slide, extend, or retract once you have uh, your generator running and you're plugged into shore power. Then go ahead and put out your slide motor. You just hit extend, and that's what it will sound like. Those are the noises you wait for when it's done to make sure your motor's synced up. We have a complete video on syncing up your motors. On our YouTube channel here are your tank heaters for uh, your black and your gray. You can turn those on. Your water pump, that's where you turn that on. Again, you're going to turn on your water pump when uh, you are dry camping. You're not hooked up to a campsite water source. Now, water heater, a couple of things to mention here about your water heater. Uh, it does run off of propane, and this is going to turn this in and heat it up really, really nice for you. You also have uh, an electric element, okay? So here's what you need to keep in mind. When you turn on your water heater and you turn on your propane, okay, that is going to heat it up. Once it's up to temperature, then turn on your 110, and this will help level it out. It's going to heat up much faster with your propane than your 110, okay? Your 110 is just an element, and that's going to really maintain the temperature. So when you're using hot water and you're plugged in, turn those both on. Keep those both on. You do have levels up here. You can check your propane, your battery levels, your fresh tank, your black tank, your gray tank. Know where you are, and then you can drain your tanks, uh, whether you're at the campsite, if you have full sewer hookup, or if you have to go to the dump station. You can go ahead and check all your levels there. We do have a Hobbs meter here as well. That will tell you how many hours you have on your generator. So some great features right here as soon as you walk in. This is also where you're going to find your battery disconnect. It's a rotary dial switch. Turn it from noon to 3. Leave it on the entire time. This is where you also have your stabilizers, and this is your solar controller if you decide you want uh, solar on the roof. Uh, it's some light switches, a 110, and we do have a flip-up countertop extension when we go ahead and we talk about the kitchen. But right now, I'm going to hop into the driver's seat. Take you for a spin. No, I'm not going to take you for a spin. We, got, uh, we, have a, we have a chateau in front of us. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, so the way Ford designed this dash is they really did a great job. We can hear that V8. Mm, sounds good. So uh, the stabilizers are down, so I'm actually making a, a buzzing noise, and that is a safety precaution to let you know that, hey, don't go anywhere. The, uh, the stabilizers are down. But you have some great menus you can go through uh, when it is running here. You have trip meters, voltometer. Uh, you have some maintenance reminders like the percentage of oil life left. You set your cruise control here. Auto headlights they have uh, included this year, which are nice. You can just turn it to auto like your car. You never have to worry about it and even an auxiliary start so in the event that your uh, chassis battery is dead you can press this button you turn the key and it will run right off of your house patch like a jump start it will get your uh, get your motorhome started over here we do have your hvac controls work just like they do in a car a number of cup holders uh, sunglasses drinks change whatever you want and then we do have your traction control button hazards we do have a 12 volt outlet there uh, and you have nice charging ports. You have USB-C. You have a USB-C charging port and your typical USB-A. This also has screen mirroring. So as we go through this, you have your radio. Uh, you have Sirius XM satellite radio. There's the USB mirror. So you hit that, you hook up, and you have to download an app, and then you can mirror everything from your screen. Uh, your rear camera, Bluetooth phone. You have Bluetooth music. You can get into your settings. Uh, what's neat down here is if you, know, you want to listen to something, or your passengers want to listen to something, or maybe you want to have a conversation and your passengers want some music, you can go ahead and select where you want the music coming from. Do you want it coming from here? Do you want it coming from the speakers in the rear? So a great setup here for you for some on-the-road driving entertainment for you. I have grab handles on the side here when you come in. You have your sun visors. You have your, your, your lights. So everything you need. And again, this is one of the benefits people really enjoy about a Class C is once you get up here, you forget you're driving a motorhome. You just think about, okay, I'm in here and I'm just driving a, a, a big SUV. But you do have to keep that in mind. Again, remember coming in at uh, just over 25 feet in here. As we uh, come out, we'll go ahead and we'll start right over here. Nice charging booth. or char uh, Behind the booth, a charging station, two ports. You can fit, take out your phone. You're sitting down for dinner and you plug in your cord and you go ahead and 
Look at that to keep your uh, phone charged. Over here in the dinette, couple of features I want to mention here. Uh, this is Tom's bottle of water, okay? Does not come with the motorhome, this is Tom's. He's been working very hard today. We're carrying the camera in the heat. Here are the speakers I talked about uh, being used from the dash. You have control for your lights. Uh, you also have a lot of storage up above. All right. So this, not only a great place to sit, it does have seat belts. And if you notice right back here, Tom, if you can point up to the top. Right here is if you have a, we get this question a lot. Can I hook up a child safety seat? And you most certainly can. All right. You remove your cushions. And then right here, you just run down, and this is a latch, okay? So you hook the latch right up there. You run this through the base. You get everything nice and snug and tight. And then you can go ahead, and you can hook up uh, your child safety seat in here. Again, we have an entire video to show you how to do that. So the end of the day rolls around. You open the drawer. You pull some blankets out, maybe a couple of books, some toys, whatever it is. Yeah, I know kids like to sleep with toys. You pull the handle, and this makes into a bed. You move the cushions. These cushions fold right in the middle there. And then you have the Dream Die Net. In the morning, unmake, flip that right in bed, lock bed, it locks into place, and, and you're golden. And now you're making breakfast in the kitchen. Great kitchen setup. You do have uh, quite a bit of counter space, thanks in part to this flip up countertop extension. A number, you got a wastebasket, number of cabinets, you have drawers, lots of drawers here. You need extra room. All you have to do set your countertop covers, your sink covers in place. Now you put a cutting board here, okay, and you're cutting up your peppers, your tomatoes, and you go ahead and you can scoop everything right down into the sink to clean out later, or you move it off to the side, you store it down below here, and now you're washing up in here, you set a cookbook here, you got your three burner gas cooktop here, and your oven, you can bake some cookies or whatever you need to do, and this works just like a gas stove at home, only my gas stove at home does not have these really cool blue lights. I really dig those. Lights just like it does at home. The propane is not on in this coach because it is brand new, but turn it to light and it will light right up for you. Once you turn the, okay, so you got it to light, you spark it and it lights. Same thing with uh, your oven there. And then you go ahead, you light it, and then you just set your temperature to wherever you want to cook. We actually had an oven in uh, an Ace Motor home that we took on vacation and made Lucky Charms cookies. Did you know those were a thing? They are, and they are indeed magically delicious. I am not going to lie. They were fantastic. More storage above for pots and pans or food, a pantry, even, even up above. Uh, and this is where you're going to find your HDMI distribution switch for your television, which is right up over here. On the bunk, you just simply unscrew this. You move that out, and now you are watching TV. So if you have uh, the kids... Maybe they're going to bring an Xbox or a PlayStation or a Nintendo or a Roku or an Apple TV. You simply plug it into the HDMI outlet there, you switch, and then you can watch whatever you want there. So some great options there for you for entertainment, the over-the-bunk TV. And now, the piece de resistance. And this is what really makes the 25M a very unique motorhome. Not only do you have a lot of room here, but you have this comfortable couch here by day, okay? So you're sitting here, you're having a conversation. The TV is right here. There's a TV right here too, okay? So, you know, maybe the kids are doing something on the, in the overhead bunk and they got the, you know, they got the video games going and you're sitting back here binge watching whatever. It is. Maybe you have our YouTube channel put up. Maybe you're streaming and you're watching all of those great Thor Motor Coach YouTube videos. That would be entertaining. It, it would be. We got a lot of great videos on customer service videos, how to use uh, items in your motor home, but I'm going to give you a live demo right now on how to use this queen size Murphy bed. This is so slick. And this is a very comfortable couch. I know some of you think, oh, is it really going to be? Yes, it is. It is a very comfortable couch. Actually, I've been hanging out on all these Murphy bed couches, um, sitting down. This is where we're kind of catching up in between uh, all of our, our live uh, videos here. So you have a strap here, okay, a little elastic strap. Just undo that. That's all you do. You get out of Tom's way, you pull up your little footboard, and you pull down. Queen size bed, just like that. It's really nice because over on this side, you have USB ports, 12 volt if you need a CPAP machine, you have that here, and 110 down below. And then in the morning, just push that right back in, and this locks right into place. You pull this down. 
it's not going to come out. You walk up front, you grab your cushions, and you have a couch again. It's really a nice setup. I mean, it was a beautiful, beautiful setup here and a comfortable couch. Oh, and by the way, you can get this with the home collection. If you haven't seen the home collection lap, beautiful. I mean, it's a, we have it on our the Four Winds Overview video where we run over a lot of the highlights and bells and whistles. It's about eight minutes long, kind of runs through a number of floor plans, and you get a look at all the decors, including the home collection where the cabinets are white and the fridge is black. It's beautiful. Pantry. Who doesn't need a pantry? Nice drawers. Throw the mustard in there. Throw the, the peanut butter in there, the cereal in there. You got a double door fridge. Again, you just set it to auto. Uh, that way, it you know, kind of like a smart fridge, if you would. Um, it will run off the auto. It auto sets it to either gas. It knows when it's running off the gas. If you're running off the generator, if you're plugged in shore power, uh, you can go ahead and turn it on here. These are the privacy curtains. So when you are set up for the night at camp, you, you don't have to keep them in the freezer. You can keep them wherever you want. This is just uh, how it ships. You can go ahead and if you notice there are Velcro tabs right up here. You can go ahead and you just string those all around and you black out the light there. You have roller shades for the windows that pull down as well. So uh, you can pull the blinds down, you're good to go. Uh, you have your, your fuse box right there, that's your converter. You blow a fuse, you can go ahead and you can uh, reset that. And it looks like uh, somebody turned off the water heater. But if, say that trip, say your water heater, heater wasn't working. Okay, well, this is where you would come and you'd see your water heater wasn't working, so you'd go ahead and turn that on. You also have your blade style 12 volt automotive fuses here. Everything is labeled, tells you what it is. GFCI, this does have GFCI outlets. In the event something's not working, I would check out your GFCI and reset those. They work just like you do in your home. You're going to find those in the bathroom. Back here, I like this setup. Kind of a, you got the dressers, you got the drawers, you have a TV with some storage behind it here, so you can store whatever you need back there. We really tried to maximize storage on that. Uh, here's the control for your furnace and your air conditioning. If I didn't mention it, you have a 13.5 BTU AC unit. You can get a 15,000 if you want, but you set your uh, heat and air conditioning right from here. You have a light control, a 110. And then as we get into the bathroom here, you can go ahead and check that out. I will let Tom go in. You have a shower with skylight. You have the nice on a wand there, you have the blinds, you have uh, your toilet, you have your sink, everything you need in a bathroom. There's your GFCI outlet right over to the side there. But everything you need in a bathroom is here. I mean, you have hanging space for your wardrobe, a lot of nice drawers in here, you have a medicine cabinet, so all kinds of great features in here. Just a lot of storage in this 25M. You know, you think about it as it is, it is a 25-foot motorhome and all you can fit in here in all the places you can go. Uh, I mean, you know, the storage under here, the storage up above, the storage outside. So a lot of great features in this, including the Murphy bed. If you would like more information, you can always go to ThorMotorCoach.com. You can find the floor plan. Maybe the 25M isn't for you. Again, 15 four winds floor plans. You're going to find something you like if you're in the market for a classy motorhome. If you just took delivery of a, a motorhome, real easy to sign up for great customer service. All you have to do is go to our owner's resources page. Okay, You type in your VIN, you get yourself signed up there and you can get schematics for your, your motorhome. I mean, your exact motorhome. Uh, all sorts of information on there. You'll get warranty information because this now comes with the best warranty in the industry. We're talking 12-year structural, six-year lamination warranty, and a one-year limited warranty. All the warranty guides are going to be found in, in your black bag, so uh, go through there. If you are in the market and you're thinking, gosh, I really like that, but I don't know if that's the exact one for me. What if uh, what if I was looking for theater seats or whatever? Call our CoachLink sales advisor. Uh, that team is phenomenal, and the knowledge they have is uh, far surpasses mine. Um, you can call and ask, hey, I'm looking for this, 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 and this at a dealer near me. You're going to get all that information. That is our CoachLink sales advisor, ThermotorCoach.com. If you would like to see an overview 
of any of our units. We have all of those, uh, just about all of those, due to uh, such an unusual time of with, with COVID and, and shut down and uh, working from home. And I know the plant was shut down for about eight weeks. So we're a little behind uh, more than normal, but believe me, Tom and I are working hard to get you everything that you need. So what do we have? We have just a couple to go, right, Tom? We have just a few to go, uh, and then all the 21 model your videos will be out. Uh, we're working on uh, another series of videos called uh, Get to Know Your RV, where we spend uh, an hour and a half, two hours, I would say. We shot a lot of those uh, over the course of the last week or so, where we go really in-depth on how everything in your motorhome works. I mean, every little feature. Um, we still have a few more of those to go. So we got a lot of content coming your way, and you don't want to miss any of it. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Uh, like if you enjoy this video or any of our other videos. We always like to see uh, who's watching. If you have questions, we do our best to get you answers. We get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of questions a day, so we try to get back to you uh, as soon as we can. Usually it's uh, myself and Tom answering those, and we don't have every answer at the top of our hats and we'll go and we'll talk to some of you have some very technical engineering questions we like that so we get with our engineers or our product development team to bring you the answers so go ahead and comment there uh, check out our playlist check out our mobile meals so much great information at your fingertips thanks to the world wide web so we appreciate you watching today stay tuned we have a lot more to bring you over the next couple of days we have a lot of new floor plans tom and i tom and i used all of the power that we have we don't have any power but we were able to get some new floor plans lined up that we were very excited to show you. So we are going to take you through some more floor plans. So thanks for watching this. Share it with your friends. And if you are out there on the road, enjoy your travels.